so I'm making this quick video about this Makita DTW281 uh, half inch impact driver with no hex head in the in the driver bit here so this is an original Makita not one of those Chinese clones and I got it broken and when I opened it up I noticed that the fuse was blown and somebody had just stuffed a piece of metal in there to short the fuse to see if the problem was that but uh, evidently the problem wasn't because it still wasn't working and what I did was I, I opened it up I looked at the I looked up here looked at the coil here and what I noticed was that this part right here where I have this wick was completely burnt off um, so I fixed that with with some wick I put it back together and so then I burnt it out right under this part right here. So obviously the issue was a short in the coil. And this was an old tool. As you can see, it's pretty used. Can't even see the, see the year model out of this. Uh, so I went ahead and thought uh, looked up if I can buy a replacement coil, but no. Uh, you have to buy the whole coil, the circuit board here, all the wiring, and the speed controller here. Uh, all at the same time, which is a hundred euros and this thing really isn't worth that much being so old so what I thought of then was obviously I got to recoil the the stator here but uh, I've never done that so I looked into it, it didn't seem very hard and basically these are my notes right here with only this picture right here and the number 12 which is the number of coils wound around the thing on the black side here see there's a white side and a black side and so there's 12 uh, coils going around the black side here and that's what I did I basically went back and uh, recoiled it starting with these with these inner windings right here and then I did I think it was this one and then last one was this one and I didn't have any of this same copper enamel wire that was used in it it's pretty thick um, so the next best thing what I had were these were these cheap 540 motors which are I don't know a few bucks a pop maybe four bucks on eBay from China and I had a few of these laying around one was already broken and I had decoiled it and this is what the coil from it looks like so if we compare those two so it's a lot thinner than this uh, than this original wire right here but what I did was I looked up um, the current carrying cap capability of this versus this or by the thickness and what I noticed was that if I put two of these together I can have the same or a slightly higher current carrying capability than this so I took two layers of this and I went around, took me probably three hours to rewind this and to solder it back on. And I tested it and it works. Now, the only caveat in taking out a wire from a DC brushed motor like this and reusing it is that you'll get nicks in the enamel coating because some of it's glued together in the rotor over here and that's just a part of it so you might have two adjacent windings that short out or two windings that short out but I guess I got lucky and the the exposed parts laid out just nicely in the in the stator here the rest of the tool is fine all I'll have to do to this fuse is just solder the wires back together um, the circuit board's fine. Uh, this thing, you can see it's taking a lot of current there. It's fine. And the hammer mechanism, I haven't tested yet, but it seems fine. And being so old, uh, I don't really care. If, you know, if it's in slightly worse condition than new. Uh, everything works. I've already gone ahead and tested it. You know, uh, it really makes you think about the... The size difference of these motors because so if we put this stator back in place and the rotor um, you really get the size difference here on 
This is a 540 motor. I forget how much current it draws. It had approximately a third of the amount of coil as this thing does uh, because it took three of these motors. Of course, there was a little bit left over, but uh, it took three of these motors to make all three pairs of all three pairs of coils in this. And the way the coils are set up is that um, these uh, three motor wires that come from the controller go to three separate uh, taps on the circuit board that attach to the stator here. And the other end of each um, mm -hmm. stator pair go into right here. And they're all three, all three of them are joined together. So I forget, I don't know if that's called a delta or a, or a Y configuration. I think that's a Y configuration. Uh, brushless DC motor but that's how it is and what I found with these is uh, these have two problems either the bearings go out uh, right here or right here uh, the bearings usually on these impacts don't go bad on these because there aren't really any bearings in here any ball bearings uh, what does happen on these drills though is that you'll have two bearings right here and they aren't even thrust bearings from the factory and they'll go bad that's what happened to this thing and you'll have to swap those out but usually on these these back bearings go out really I haven't seen any uh, any motor controllers fail so I guess Makita did a pretty good job on that I'm assuming they have some current uh, monitoring monitoring and current limiting uh, for the circuit board so the circuit board doesn't blow up and I really haven't had any physical damage to these except for this thing, this is a DTD-129 impact, uh, I don't know, just with a hex head there. And it actually had this piece broken off right here. So you can see down there, you can see the aluminum color. And it's broken uh, just behind that. I have it lock tied it together for now, but I ordered a new one. So that's actually the only physical weakness of these things, other than the bearings. But... Like for this one, you could order a new stator, but for this one you can't, because on this one it's connected with uh, the wires coming up to it connect with connectors, but this one is directly soldered in there, so you have to buy the whole thing. You know, I hope this video gave you some information as to how you can fix any one of these three, mainly this one, um, and it is possible to re recoil it uh, with salvaged motor enamel copper wire so I'll go ahead and do a quick demo here I'll throw the, the case back together and I'll put the end cap on this is the newer one with the end cap the older ones were just two halves putting being back, put back together and I actually like this one better the Chinese clones don't have this they they're just two uh, clamshells so there is no this piece it's all in all in these two uh, this is real convenient because you can take the rotor out. Uh, so, oh yeah, i got to take the battery from there and put it there. And so now I have the battery on here. I'm going to go ahead and run it real quick. The, the halves aren't screwed together or anything, so. And it works. Before, it would just uh, turn a few times and then it would start smoking and... You know, it would slow down a lot because of the massive current draw from the battery. And it would burn some something in the coils here. So all you have to do is decoil it and put a new coil in. So I hope this video was helpful. And if not, I hope it was at least entertaining. See ya.